folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 45 minutes to an hour or so discussing some programs that can help you not only market independently, but complete other sales that you are currently conducting with your prospects and clients. This is based on the use of the programs available to us through SureBridge, and we'll be discussing to some detail the dental vision hearing programs and the hospital indemnity programs that help complete a sale regardless of the base medical coverage that you are offering. Today's presentation is being recorded and it, along with much of the information that we reference throughout the course of the presentation, will be sent to all who have RSVP'd to today's webinar. That includes a link to the today's recording and the presentation itself and the other ancillary information um, that we mentioned. As a bit of housekeeping, please use the software package that gives you the opportunity to ask questions. Normally, we cover the questions through the course of the presentation, through the presentation itself, but we want to make certain that we cover your questions and get you the information you need for this program. For those of you on a background basis who aren't as familiar with Premier Marketing as others may be, we are a national marketing organization founded in 1968. We're part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We act as an insurance wholesaler providing insurance services to the public through independent insurance agents such as yourself. And we do so with contracts that are at the highest possible commission level with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. As I mentioned, being founded in 1968, that means we recently celebrated a milestone in our history. That's the 50th anniversary of Premier Marketing. And we feel that's a great accomplishment for an organization that began as a small family agency in rural Nebraska that's grown into one of the largest marketing organizations of its type in the country. We do so through a full portfolio of products including the Medicare programs that help with the health coverage, the Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and standalone prescription drug programs, but also through a full portfolio of insurance products that include life insurance and annuity programs, final expense life insurance, pre-need programs, long and short-term care plans, disability income programs, and ancillary benefits, much as what we'll discuss today, including dental vision hearing programs, critical illness and cancer plans, and hospital indemnity programs. That Medicare Advantage portfolio includes all the national carriers and many of the strong regionals that can make a difference for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the standalone prescription drug programs that have the national carriers for you to use through our organization. Our Medicare supplement portfolio is very large and robust and has specific programs in place that helps you be successful in that space as well. When we look at the ancillary programs, it includes the leaders in each of those categories, and that includes our guest speakers for, for today uh, from SureBridge. These are programs that not only offer you an opportunity to market them independently and as a door opener in many circumstances, or as a completion of a sale for the products that you're offering in the base medical coverage for this population. A good portion of these programs as well are available to folks that are under the age of 65, some of them available for, from zero to 90. So you have a spread of these products that may be of assistance to you if you work the under 65 market as well. When we speak of the Medicare market itself, we look at a burgeoning market. It's a great daytime activity type of program where many times life insurance is evenings and weekends. Obviously, you can work that as well here too, but you don't come on a program like today's without hearing about the silver tsunami, the baby boomers aging in, 10,000 people plus a month, uh, one every 10 seconds. And that's true, but it's not a true indication of the Medicare market itself because some of the folks will hit 65 and not access their Medicare benefits immediately. We've seen some interesting data come to us from death research and other 
organizations that tell us that there are good percentages of those people turning 65 that are going to continue to work and access their, their coverage through work or, or have coverage elsewhere and not access Medicare immediately at the age of 65. I'm not trying to talk down that silver tsunami, tsunami and riding that wave, but there is a portion of the people um, that will continue to access benefits elsewhere and not immediately go into Medicare. That percentage, however, is more than offset by this. Almost one-sixth of the Medicare population are accessing their benefits because of medical disability, and that is a huge number of individuals that need our help and are good targets or good prospects, I should say, for the programs that we'll be discussing today. It's a diverse population that we deal with in the Medicare community. Two thirds of the people have three plus chronic conditions and many of them have challenges with their wallet as well. So they need programs that offer them choices and offer them the opportunity to more properly budget for expenses that can be reasonably expected in the very near future. So we're looking at a pattern of choices in the population because frankly, People that go into Medicare, well, they don't have to do anything else. There's the old adage a sales manager of mine long time ago but with Prudential told me, a decision to make a decision is a decision. So folks don't have to even take Part B. Most do, logically. And some of them will then self-insure for everything else. Or some will pick up the Part B coverage for their medications. Some will choose to cover the gaps in the base coverage through a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement plan, or some others will go into the Medicare Advantage programs to access their benefits in that manner. In each of these decision paths, however, there is a need for additional coverages for specific types of expenses. And that is the reason why the programs we speak to today will apply across the spectrum of choices that an individual has in the Medicare arena. As you see, in each of these categories, it's pretty an e even split between Medicare Advantage and MedSup on the choices of the people accessing their Medicare benefits. A portion choose to do nothing at all, which means they're not picking a MedSup or a Medicare Advantage program in this case. They may have VA coverage, they may have retiree coverage, or another reason, perhaps the first choice of nothing else at all. But in each of the categories, they are a viable prospect for the programs we discussed today. And since it is Medicare, it has its own language. So we're going to send you not a secret decoder ring, but access to these definitions of commonly new used acronyms. So watch for that as part of the follow-up to today's presentation. When we look at the programs overall, though, and we discuss some of the possibilities of the needs of additional help, a lot of that comes in the dental programs. And we realize that about two thirds of the Medicare population don't have anti, any dental coverage. Um, half of them haven't been to the dentist in the past year, and a good percentage of them spend a lot of money when they do. And when you look at that, you see a difference between what is intention and what actually happens. A good portion of the seniors over Three quarters of them say they need to visit the dentist within the next year, and less than half of them actually visit the dentist. And why is that? Well, part of it's because of the cost. So having a program in place that offers dental coverage as part of the, the overall option helps them seek and take care of the needs that they have that they've acknowledged and may be putting off for one reason or another, as illustrated here, but part of it because they can't afford the dental services. And we see that information provided to us through the Kaiser Family Foundation and through other sources that, well, Medicare itself doesn't cover the dental, and so they need help outside of that base coverage. Even those who have some dental coverage, including folks that are enrolled in Medicare Advantage programs, may not have enough coverage because of the expense of some of these services. That even follows over into the dual population. Being of limited income and assets may prohibit them from purchasing a lot of different programs, but because of the pricing of 
the plans that are offered, it gives them the advantage to supplement the coverages they have because these are for fee for service programs that pay regardless of any other coverage. It gives them the opportunity to take care of those needs when they especially need it as well. Just keep in mind, even those folks with coverage may not have enough, and these plans pay regardless of other uh, programs they may have in place. It's also an area that, surprisingly, dentists are a big source of discovering other needs that a person may have. And by doing dental work, they may discover other undiagnosed illnesses that adversely affect their health. And this is a component of why a person needs to go to the dentist and why they need the help in covering them. Because keep in mind, these different type of coverages, well, they don't give away the services. And they are very, very uh, predominant in the needs of folks as we age, particularly. And it's a way to help folks identify other challenges they may have in their personal circumstances as well. And one of the ways that we can discover these needs and set up the discussion is using one of the tools that is required of us if we work the Medicare Advantage or standalone PDP programs. And that's that scope of appointment. If you reference a generic piece, and you'll notice here as an example on the screen, it lays out the programs we discussed today as well. So that dental vision hearing product and that hospital indemnity program, this is a tickler that gives you the opportunity to transition into that discussion very simply and by using the tool, the regulation that is required of us in the Medicare Advantage and PDP space anyway. It's also laid out in the Medicare U book on page 49, what's not covered. We're going to do a separate presentation on that as well down the road, but this is a great way for you to use a periodical that is sent to every Medicare beneficiary in an October and gives you another point of reference as to why there is a need for these programs. Because regardless, of the space that you have covered in the base coverages, be it a Medicare Advantage program or a Medicare Supplement program, uh, the, the, the needs still exist for these plans. So one of the big things is, as Pepe Le Pew discovered a long time ago in the cartoons, you never get kissed if you don't ask. So let's ask and let's get kissing, so to speak, and then use these programs to help us not only cover the needs of our prospects and clients, but also establish another revenue stream for ourselves and our agencies and help the other products that we have in the house be a bit stickier, drive up your persistency, drive up your client retention. And it's interesting to note that these products and the increased persistency, they don't have to be with the same company. They have to be the same offering from a singular agent. So if you have product in the house, it can make a big differentiator for you from your competition simply because you asked that one more question. So as we get to the meat of today's presentation, we're looking at a explanation of product available to us from SureBridge and specifically addressing the dental vision hearing and hospital indemnity program needs that we have in play. So we have invited and have been uh, blessed with an explanation from our guest speaker. This is Mr. Seth Groff. He's a sales director with SureBridge, and he is going to run us through some particulars on these programs that we have uh, recently discussed here. So watch for that, and at this point in time, I am going to turn the control over to Mr. Groff and invite him to enlighten us on particulars of the programs that we are discussing today. Seth? All right. Well, thanks, John, and thanks, everybody, for jumping on today's call. Um, Today's presentation, SureBridge's Prime DVH and Hospital Wise. And as always, I'm excited for today's call. 
We are over halfway through the year and AAP will be here before we know it. And these are some unprecedented times with the current pandemic and your clients need you more than ever. Thus opening up a great opportunity for you to share innovative ideas to help cover the out-of-pocket costs associated with healthcare. And that is why we added HospitalWise to today's presentation. Sherbird has seen sales soar as seniors are growing and growing their concern about going to the hospital due to COVID-19, especially if they are on a Med Advantage plan that has co-pays associated with hospital confinement. So today we will look at a product that can help eliminate some of those fears. But first, it's important to understand who Surebridge is and what we're all about, because chances are your customers might hear Surebridge and not be familiar with the name. So first of all, the name. You will see that it is Surebridge underwritten by the Chesapeake Life Insurance Company. Surebridge is the marketing name and Chesapeake Life is the actual insurance company. They are the same. I will refer to everything today as Surebridge. However, it is important to explain this to a consumer because their policy will actually say Chesapeake Life Insurance Company. Um, number two, financial strength. Surebridge has an A minus excellent AM best rating. And if you're not familiar with AM best, they evaluate insurance companies and give them a rating. And one thing they look at is financial strength. And the reason for that is they want to make sure a company can pay claims. And that is what this rating means. Surebridge is financially stable and we will come through to the promises we make to our policyholders. And finally, Surebridge is one of the fastest growing ancillary carriers out in the marketplace. And here is how we do it. Three of Surebridge's goals include to offer the best products at the best price and provide great compensation, compensation to the agent for selling. And one way Surebridge accomplishes this is by leveraging technology. And so in 2019, Surebridge issued over 260,000 policies and our processing slash underwriting team consists of only two people. And the only way this is possible is to leverage technology. So all applications are gonna be submitted online via a point of sale tool. And there's gonna be several signature options for you, email, text, face to face and voice, and products will either be guaranteed issue like the Prime DVH product we're gonna talk about today, or they're going to be simplified issue like the hospital indemnity plan hospital wise that we're gonna talk about today. But um, when I say simplified issue, it's only gonna be questions on the application. There's never an MIB, there's never a script check, there is never a phone interview. And so as long as your clients can answer the health questions favorably, they will get an instant decision over 90% of the time. And plus, we have a full portfolio of products, so we can go be your go-to ancillary carrier. Now, when I say there's a lot of products, that can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. And so today, I really want to help narrow your focus on what products to focus on with Surebridge. If you're primarily selling the MedSup products, so Medicare A, B, you're going to want to look at Prime DVH. If you're primarily selling Med Advantage plans, and the Med Advantage plans you're, you are selling um, already have some dental benefits built in, then you should look at hospital wise. But one of the things that I'm learning is that a lot of these Med Advantage plans out in the marketplace might only have some preventative benefits built in, or some don't have any built in. And so DVH would be a good, good start for them. And if you're sell both, which a lot of you do because you want to make sure that you offer the best product to your client for their particular situation, then it's important to learn about both Prime DVH and Hospital Wise, and that's why we're covering both of them here today. Um, you know, we've talk, always talk about why you should sell ancillary products, but just remember the big thing is, number one, client retention. The more products your, your client has with you, the less likely they're going to go to the competition. Um, number two is the differentiation from the competitors. You know, you'd be surprised of how many people don't offer ancillary products. And it's really a shame because their clients are interested in learning about innovative solutions. And so, but the agent just isn't willing to talk about it. And so when you look at the marketplace, most people have access to the same med, or the same med advantage carriers. And so um, there's not a lot of differenti differentiation there, um, but by talking about ancillary products, you're going to have a different story to tell. 
Um, and then finally, you know, you can increase your income, you know, on average, of course, there's always a lot that goes into this, but if you sell one ancillary product per week, on average, um, based on, you know, what the typical commission level is, you're going to earn increase your overall annual income by $10,000. And so you're already meeting with these clients, so why not talk to them about the ancillary products? So first, let's go ahead and jump in to HospitalWise, which is our, our leading hospital indemnity plan. And here's the reason why. When we talk about selling HospitalWise in the senior market, again, we're primarily talking about selling this plan in conjunction with the Medicare Advantage plan. And up on the screen is the reason why. The average out-of-pocket limit for a Med Advantage plan is a little bit over $5,000 for in-network services. And it's a little bit over $8,600 for both in-network and out-of-network services. And so the issue is, is that when you talk about these, you know, Medicare um, Advantage enrollees, a lot of times the reason that they're going to a Med Advantage plan is because of the premium savings. So they they like, you know, in some situations they, they don't have any any premium. And so um, the reality is, is that chances are a lot of this demographic are on a very limited um, income or a fixed income. And so they are not going to have the financial means to write a check for $5,000 to cover their responsibility. And so there is a need to go in there and educate them on ways and strategies to help cover that out-of-pocket cost. And as far as people to talk to, over one-third of the Medicare beneficiaries are enrolled in Medicare Advantage plans. And we see that number continue to go up um, year after year. And so there's plenty of people to talk to. And then finally, you can see that the average cost of hospital confinement is over $15,000. So even though they have a cap on their out-of-pocket limit, chances are when they end up in um, the hospital, they're going to incur some costs and it, it'll, you know, bump them up and start hitting that, that out-of-pocket limit. So there's a huge opportunity in people that you can talk to, and there's a huge need for your clients um, because there's some significant exposure associated with these Medicare Advantage plans. But here are going to be some basic details on the product. Um, you can see that we have a wide range of issue ages. So all the way from issue ages zero to 90. Now today we're primarily talking about, you know, 64 and above, but the point is, is that even if you, you know, maybe even dabble in the under 65 market, this product can be sold as well. Um, from an underwriting perspective, as I said earlier, it is going to be true, accept, reject, simplified underwriting. That means that as long as they can answer the questions favorably on the application, it's going to get issued. We're never doing an MIB script check or personal hit phone interview. And so over 90% of the time, after you and the client sign the application, it comes back with an instant approval. Um, this plan does have a pre-existing condition clause, and it's going to look at pre-existing conditions. Um, it's going to have a six-month look back for the six months, first six months of the plan. And so if your client was, you know, treated or diagnosed um, with any condition uh, during the previous six months of purchasing the policy, and then they ended up being hospitalized or receiving some other benefits covered under the plan, they would not be covered during that first six months. But outside of that, they're good to go. Um, and other than that, there's no waiting periods um, for this plan. Now, this particular plan does have a $20 application fee. However, the good news is, is that if you're enrolling a couple or if somebody's maybe purchasing a hospital-wise and, uh, and a prime DVH, there is only going to be one fee. And so, you know, it is an incentive for that client if you're working with a husband and wife or a, or a couple that they both enroll on the same application. That way they only get hit with that application fee once. So that's how going to be kind of the nuts and bolts of hospital wise. But to start the product, what you're going to do is you're going to start with the base benefit and the base is going to pay a daily benefit for each day of confinement in a hospital due to sickness or injury. And you can see up on the screen, we have a wide range of benefits. So you can see we go all the way down to 50, all the way up to $1,000 a day. And likewise, we also have several different benefit periods to choose from, either 3, 6, 10, 21, 180, um, or 365. And the reason we put in this much flexibility is because we wanted it to you wanted to give you the ability to really customize this plan to line 
with your client. And so you're going to be able to dial that daily benefit um, into uh, the, the copay that they're going to have associated with their Med Advantage plan. So a lot of times you're get with a Med Advantage plan, you're going to see some sort of copayment of anywhere from $200 to $300 a day for the first you know three to six days of, of hospital confinement. And so you can really dial that in. Also, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of budget. And so if you're trying to get that premium down to fit into um, you know, that, that client's budget because they're in a fixed income, you can adjust the daily benefit and benefit periods as well. Um, obviously, once the benefit period um, has you know, pass, they would not receive any more daily benefits. Um, however, you know, hopefully you're getting them to their maximum out of pocket costs. And so then uh, the Med Advantage plan would cook, kick in and cover the rest of the expenses. Um, one of the nice things about Sherbridge's hospital wise is that there is an observation benefit built into the plan. So what we saw was that a lot of doctors are going to be hesitant to actually admit a client into the hospital. And obviously a lot of that has to do with, with costs. And so they keep them for observation. Well, the problem with that is that if you do have a hospital confinement policy, um, you know, maybe one of our competitors, it's not going to pay anything because they're not technically confined to a hospital. With Sherbridge, as soon as you get hit that 12 hour mark, um, even just for observation, it's gonna pay the same as if they were actually confined. So that's really nice. And then third, we also have built in a mental nervous benefit. And so a lot of our competitors actually exclude that. And so this is gonna pay a daily benefit of $250, up to $250 for a maximum of seven days. Um, if they are confined due to a mental or nervous disorder. So um, very rich benefits on the base policy. And after you have the base policy established, it's going to be time to customize with a few riders. And I really want to focus on the riders that are going to um, that you're going to talk about when selling in conjunction with the Med Advantage plan. Um, the first one up there, the lump sum hospital confinement rider, um, that's primarily sold in the under 65 market. Um, obviously, just pays that lump sum the first time confined to the hospital. Um, we don't typically see that added in the over 65 market um, because we can get what we need for coverage um, with the daily benefit portion. Um, but you will add the outpatient surgery rider because a lot of Med Advantage plans does have a copay for outpatient patient surgery. And as you can see, it just pays a benefit anywhere from 250 to 2000. So you can al align it with the copay um, that, that the client has, um, but it's going to be paid if they receive outpatient um, surgery. Um, skilled nursing facility. Again, this one is going to be added typically in conjunction with the Med Advantage plan. Um, the reason is, is that a lot of Med Advantage plans kind of has that gap for days 21 through 100 if a client is confined um, to a hospital, then has to go to a skilled nursing facility rider. And so you can dial that copay in to align with what their responsibility is. And you can also just select days 21 through 100. Now, remember that this plan will always pay the benefit regardless of what the charges are. And so um, even if you wanted to get one through 100, it would be a little bit more expensive. But, um, you know, if they were had it covered for days one through 20, they would still receive that benefit. But typically what we see or we're going to see the benefit align with the copay responsibility and then select the 21 to 100 day benefit period. Um, finally, emergency care rider. Again, a lot of times Med Advantage plans have a uh, copay for going to the emergency room. We actually see this being increased just due to the low cost. You know, I I hate to say it, but you know, if you have to go to the emergency room, you might as well get paid for it. And so it's a it's price very competitively. Um, and so we see that actually a lot of times being maxed out at that $500 point. Um, ambulance rider, again, a lot of Med Advantage plan has uh, out-of-pocket responsibility if they take a ride in the ambulance and same with the outpatient major diagnostic rider. So all of them up on the screen there today are ones you're going to want to familiarize yourself with because you will be, um, chances are you will be talking to your clients about it. Um, there is a wellness rider that you can add that just pays $50 if they go to do any of these tests. Um, we don't see it added that much just because in my opinion, it's price kind of expensive. Um, you know, you're just kind of exchanging dollars, but it is there if, if you want it. But here's really how you sell the plan. So we have Jane, she's 65 years old. 
and uh, recently enrolled in a low cost Medicare Advantage plan. And she took some of her savings um, from by from transitioning into that Medicare Advantage plan to purchase a hospital indemnity plan to cover her out-of-pocket costs. So you can see um, this is going to be a pretty standard type Med Advantage plan. Um, you can see that you know her responsibility is $285 a day for the first five days. There's a copay for outpatient surgery. There's a copay for emergency care. There's copay if she has to take a ride in the ambulance. Um, and then that skilled nursing confinement, she has $175 a day responsibility for days 21 through 100. And then also 20% coinsurance for major diagnostic exams. Now, obviously that's gonna vary based on the plan you're selling and your zip code, but it's gonna be pretty common. And so for $54.04 a month, we were able to sell her a Sherbridge hospital-wise solution that covered a lot of that out-of-pocket exposure. So we did a base policy of $300 a day for six days. Now remember, even if she's confined for six days and the Med Advantage plan kicks in, she still gets her $300 a day. Um, so we always pay the benefit regardless of the cost actually incurred. Um, out of the outpatient surgery rider, the emergency care rider, ambulance rider, skilled nursing rider, and major diagnostic rider. And so we were able to align that plan um, to fill those out-of-pocket costs very well for only $54.04 a month. So you can see, very competitive. Now, you might be asking, well, Seth, yeah, that's great. That's a great example, but I sell XYZ Med Advantage plan and, and our benefits are a little bit different. So how would I sell this plan if I'm selling some other Med Advantage plan? And the good news is, is that Sherbridge actually offers in our software, hospital-wise senior plan builder. And so you can actually go out into our software and um, click on the hospital-wise senior plan builder. It will um, allow you to select the plan year and the, the carrier. I'm here in Nebraska, so I just did one, um, one with Aetna, but it will actually lay out the, the, the out-of-pocket costs associated with that Med Advantage plan and the recommended solution for hospital-wise. And this is the best sales piece you have because you should be educating the, the client on their out-of-pocket responsibility anyways and here it is a lot of agents will just print this off it's in the software you get access to it if you're contracted with Sherbridge and so they'll print this off and um, they'll just use this in the sales presentation because it pretty much makes the sales for you um, so I recommend using it. I recommend going out and familiarizing yourself um, with the tool because if I had one sales technique for selling hospital wise is to use this piece of the point of sale tool. Um, as far as underwriting con is concerned, remember that the, there, this is going to be simplified underwriting. So there are some conditions that are going to be knockouts. Um, up on the screen are going to be the examples or not ac actually the examples. It, they are going to be the knockouts. Um, you use this as a cheat sheet um, as john indicated you will receive a copy of these slides um, otherwise you know on the application as long as you read through the application questions um, it's going to tell you whether or not they qualify um, for it because it's going to have the timestamp and the conditions in the actual application so uh, the four sales tips to sell hospital wise number one utilize the hospital wise senior plan builder that will show you where the the holes are and give you the recommended um, solution with hospital wise. Number two, customize a plan. Okay. Don't go out there with one plan and try to sell it to everybody. Customize it to align with their budget and with um, this particular Med Advantage plan that you're selling. And then that leads into number three is keep the premiums within their budget. Really, we're seeing these being sold 40 to $60. If you get much higher than $60, chances are, you know, if they're on a fixed income, they're just not going to keep it. And what I always tell agents, and I don't know why they're afraid to do this, but something is better than nothing. And so if the premiums are too high, dial down some of the benefits, right? Maybe you're only covering the out-of-pocket costs for three days instead of five, or maybe you're only covering half of the, the, the copay instead of all of it. So, you know, if they have a $275 copay, maybe you only do a $200 benefit. So you have $200 and then they'd have to come up with the other 75, but customize the plan. And again, 
um, keep it within in their budget and you'll be able to sell a lot more of these plans. And then finally, just be ready to pivot. You know, never hard sell this, just educate them on the solution. And if they say no, just move on to something else. Um, you know, you did your job to educate them. Um, try to look at what their objection is and, you know, maybe, you, you know, practice a response for the, for the next time you receive that objection, but just be ready to pivot and move on. And candidly, probably the number one objection that you're going to get if you properly position this and don't quote too high of a plan, um, the number one objection that you're going to get isn't cost. It's actually that they're just going to self-insure. So they look at that copay and they say, hey, I got enough in savings or I get, have enough that I'll just, you know, self-insure if I end up using that. And so they're not worried about it. Um, most people think it's cost, but as long as you position it in conjunction with the savings, you're already saving them by moving them to a med advantage plan. It's going to be um, a pretty easy sell. So um, with that, we'll jump into to the Prime DVH, which hopefully you have seen a presentation on Prime DVH, but it's always good to do a refresher on it and um, take a look at the, you know, some frequently asked questions and the best way to position Prime DVH. Um, as you can see, the title says smile, bigger, see brighter, listen better. And so if that doesn't give it away, DVH is going to be a dental, vision, and hearing combo product. And I'm a firm believer that Sherbridge has one of the best ones out in the marketplace. And here are going to be some of the highlights that make it so competitive. Number one, the preventative dental is going to be covered at 100% from day one with no deductible. And the reason that's important is because a lot of our competitors that offer DVH plans um, will still offer, you know, preventative from day one. However, there's either going to be a deductible applied to it or it's not going to cover it at 100%. And so what this means is that the client can purchase this plan, pay one month's premium, then go to the dentist and get their teeth checked out and clean with no additional out-of-pocket costs. And so that gets the client utilizing it, them seeing the value in it, and it's just a win-win across the board. In addition to the preventative dental being covered at 100% with no um, deductible, your vision and hearing exams are covered at 100% from day one with no deductible as well. And so wrap your mind around that. Your client can buy this policy, get it in force, pay one month's, one month's premium, and go see the dentist, then go see their optometrist and see an audiologist with no additional out-of-pocket costs. That's some huge value, and that value is available immediately after this plan is issued. Um, in addition to the dental benefits, basic dental procedures don't have any waiting periods. So they go to the dentist, they do a cleaning, they come back, say, hey, you have a cavity. Good news, they're going to have some coverage for that. There is no wait on the basic. And then there is only a nine-month wait for the major dental procedures like a root canal or a crown. So that's actually shorter than Sherbridge's standalone um, for those major dental procedures. So bottom line, they get to use it soon. Um, very competitive premiums, which we'll go over and commissions. Again, we like to make sure that the agent is compensated very fairly for going out and selling these plans. And then finally, the insured can use any provider they choose. Now we have some networks tied to the dental and hearing portion of this plan, which we'll go into more detail on the following slides. But the point is, is that if they want to go in network and take advantage of some huge discounts, they have that ability. Or if they want to go to any provider they want, they're still going to receive some benefits. And we'll talk about those in a few more slides. But here's going to be the nuts and bolts. Again, issue age is all the way up to 90. And as long as you get this plan in force before their 91st birthday, and, and they continue to keep premiums, they're actually going to be able to keep this plan in force. Um, we do go all the way down to age zero. And so again, if you're selling in that under 65 market, great plan for, for um, under 65 as well. And we actually do allow children as primaries on that. Um, so I know that a lot of dental plans don't. Uh, with Sherbridge, uh, we do allow child primaries. Um, guaranteed issue, no health questions. So there are a couple of eligibility questions, but as long as um, they meet the residency requirements and not currently incarcerated. The plan's going to get issued. Um, it is going to be renewable for life. And the way it's going to work is that they're going to uh, select either a $1,000 benefit, a $1,500 benefit, or a $2,000 benefit. And that pool of money is going to be utilized for all three benefits. Okay, so they can use it all for dental. 
um, or they can use a portion of it for dental, a portion of it for vision, and a portion of it for hearing. Now, there will be some caps on the vision and hearing benefits, but we'll dive into those in more details um, in a few more slides. Um, there is a $100 deductible, but remember the preventative, um, it's not applicable, and it's not applicable to the vision and hearing exams. So, um, but it would be like, applicable to the basic services or major services and also for hearing um, and vision hardware. And again, we'll talk about the providers on the appropriate slide. Um, up on the screen are going to be some pretty common um, dental benefits. This is not an all-inclusive list. Um, I always recommend that agents go out, download our uh, product guide, and in our product guide, there is a sample policy. And in that sample policy, it'll give you the exhaustive list of what is covered under, the, under this plan. Um, two things that always come up, and I just always address them here because I know somebody will type them into the chat features. Um, sh this plan does not, so again, this plan does not cover implants or orthodontics, okay? Um, we wanted to keep the cost down. When you start putting that those uh, benefits in, it just drives the, the cost up. So otherwise, it's going to cover most of the, the things that are typically covered um, by a dental plan. But the way that it works, again, the preventative covered um, day one, uh, no waiting period, 100%, and the deductible is not applicable. Your basic type services, again, no wait. And then in year one, it pays 60, year two, 70, and year three, 80. And they would have to pay that, that deductible um, for that basic type services. And major is going to have that nine-month wait before they can receive those benefits. And then again, it'll be 60, 70, and 80% years three and beyond. Now, that is how the plan is going to pay if they go in network. And we use Carrington as our network um, for the prime DVH. And if you're not familiar with Carrington, they have a wide um, network of providers across the entire United States. And so chances are there is going to be um, a dentist in their area that they can use if they go in network. And that's how the plan will pay. There'll be pre-negotiated rates. And so they would just, you know, the insurance would cover that portion and the, the client would be responsible for the remainder. Now, you're probably saying, okay, Seth, um, but what if I have an agent or excuse me, a client that has a, goes to a dentist and they've went to that dentist for 30 years and they're not in the Carrington network? Well, you have two things that you can do. Number one, you can uh, nominate them to become part of the network. Um, you can do that out on, on the website or the client can just receive um, benefits from what we call our passive network. OK, so if they go out of network, we utilize what's known as a passive network. And the way that a passive network works is that it will actually pay the same percentage. So the 60, 70, 80 for, for your basic and type uh, for your basic and major services. However, we cap the max that we will pay at the 75th percentile of usual and customary charges. And so as long as your dentist isn't in the top quartile, as far as most expensive dentists in the area, it's still going to pay the same. Okay, so it's going to be very rich benefits if they go out of network um, or they can go in network and receive some great benefits um, through Carrington. As far as the hearing benefits are concerned, um, we use what's called true hearing for the hearing portion network. Again, 3,800 nationwide providers, and it's they're going to get some real good savings. Uh, one of the things that actually excite people the most about this plan, if they do have um, hearing issues and already using hearing aids, is getting the discount by going through the uh, True Hearing Network, because you can see that it's going to be between 30 and 60 percent savings, and a lot of times that savings um, is going to make up, you know, what, what they've paid in premiums. So um, some huge advantages by going um, through the True Hearing Network for the hearing benefits. Now, the vision benefits is not tied to a network, okay? So there's no network for vision. So that means your client can go to any provider they want, and um, basically they would have to settle up with that provider and then submit a claim to Surebridge, and we would reimburse them um, what was due um, in terms of the benefits. So here's how the, the vision and hearing benefits work. Um, again, you can see that the vision is capped at $200 a year, okay? So they only can use $200 of either their $1,000, $1,500, or $2,000 benefit. Um, 
the hardware does have a nine month wait and then it's going to you know cover 60 percent year one 70 percent year two 80 percent year three and again that's always going to be up to that 200 dollar max um, the deductible is applicable to the hardware but remember that they don't have to pay one deductible for the entire policy so if they meet it with dental they don't have to pay for it for vision um, or you know vice versa if they hit it with their vision they don't have to pay for it for dental so just remember one deductible and that's for all three types of benefits whether it's dental vision and hearing and then the hearing portion again has that nine month wait um, and then will be covered 60 70 80 but that is capped at 500 dollars every two years so they can split it up do 250 250 or do $500 every two year um, but remember they can't go above that um, they would still have the rest of the benefits available for the dental insurance um, up on the screen are going to be some um, premiums again as you can see they're going to be priced uh, very competitively and um, the thing that I always like to point out is that these are issue age premiums and so once they get locked in in an age band they're going to continue to pay that premium and so there's going to be some pretty significant um, incentive to get this plan locked in um, before they turn 66 because at 65 you can see they they pay you know approximately 10 bucks less a month or 120 bucks a year approximately depending on what benefit and so they get some pretty significant savings by getting that locked in and also on the child primaries i always point this out if they're a child primary they actually do get to pay that child rate um, which which is going to be great so um, but again very competitive premiums for this particular plan so let's jump into some frequently asked questions um, number one will my client receive an id card um, the answer to that question is if they are 65 or older they will always receive an ID card. And you can see what that ID card looks like up on the screen. Um, you know, there's the dental portion that says Carrington, the true hearing um, for the hearing portion, and then just contact Surebridge um, for your vision claim since it's not tied to a network. Um, so if they're 65 and older, they always get a card. Okay. If they're um, 65 or if they're 64 and younger, it depends on how they answer a question on the application. There's a question that says, do you consent to electronic delivery? If they say yes, they consent to electronic delivery, they will just receive information on how to download this off the website. Um, otherwise, if they select no, that they don't consent, then they'll actually be mailed. But again, if you're working in that senior market, they'll always receive a card in the mail. Um, number two, how do you find a provider in the Carrington network? Um, the easiest way to find a provider is go to www.surebridgeinsurance.com, click on current customers right here, and then it'll bring you to this page. And right down here, you'll see where it says find a dental provider or find a hearing provider. Do not click when you're selling DVH on find a vision provider because that's actually for a standalone product that we offer. Remember, Prime DVH is not tied to a network for, for vision, but click right here to find your dental providers or click right here to find your hearing providers. This is also where your client can get an ID card, um, you know, request duplicate policy print. This, they can actually log in and submit claims through here. And so this is gonna be a good portal to educate your clients on because this will um, allow them to do uh, most things with, with their policy. Um, what should the client say when using the card? If they go to the dentist, have them say the Carrington network, which if they provide the card, that's what they'll actually see. Um, but that's what the dentist is going to be familiar with, familiar with. Again, you know, if they say Sherbridge, they may or may not know um, what 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 the the client is talking about. Um, but if they say Carrington, they should know. Um, will the dentist file the claim? Yes. If you go into an uh, in-network dentist, they will file the claim. If you go out of network, it depends on the dentist. Sometimes they'll file the claim, sometimes they won't. Um, but even if they won't file the claim, the client can still submit a claim to Sherbridge and we'll pay the benefits that are owed. And um, with the hearing, same thing, go, go through true hearing, they'll follow the claim. Um, for the vision, remember the vision is not tied to a network, and so that will always be a reimbursement type um, of, a, of a benefit, but they can do that um, on that, submit that claim at that portal I just showed you on the previous slide. So um, John mentioned this earlier, but I'm just gonna hit on three top sales idea. Um, the Medicare and You handbook does the selling for you. If you go out there, it says specifically that um, Medicare Part A and Part B does not cover most dental care, eye exams related to prescribing glasses, dentures, and hearing aids and exams for fitting them. So right there is your 
DVH cell because Medicare A and B doesn't cover them. So they have to either get them somewhere else and uh, Prime DVH is a great place for them to get it. So again, just go out, utilize the Medicare and you handbook. I would say let the government sell for you because the government sends it to them and it says right there, they don't have those benefits and sets up the need for a Prime DVH cell. Second best one, just ask, are you, are you currently going to the dentist? Practice that phrase. It's not a complicated question. Regardless of how the client answers, it's going to lead into a conversation about prime DVH. Because if they say, no, I'm not going to the dentist, you ask them if it's something they're interested in. If they say yes, which most people will say, yes, they're interested in going to the dentist, just say, great, I want to educate you on the prime DVH and how it might cover some of the out-of-pocket costs. If they say, yes, they are currently going to, to the dentist, your follow-up question is, are you paying for that out-of-pocket or are you using insurance? If they're saying, well, I pay for it out-of-pocket, you say, hey, let me show you a more affordable way to cover your, your uh, dental care. If they say they're using insurance, just say, hey, would you mind me taking a look at it and see if I can do something better? That includes vision and hearing benefits because chances are their dental plan probably doesn't have it. So if you just ask that question, I guarantee you, you're going to sell Prime DVH. Um, finally, just know your numbers. Um, you know, I go out to this website. I went out and looked up some benefits um, for, for my zip code. And I know that these basic preventative services um, that will be done that first time I go to the dentist when using this plan in my area in Southeast Nebraska is $303. Okay. And so you look at what you pay in premiums and what you get back in terms of benefits um, just by going and get that cleaning um, immediately with no additional out of pocket costs that's some pretty good benefits. So, you know, the other thing that I see a lot of agents doing is actually buying this plan on themselves and then um, actually going to the dentist, seeing what the dentist charges and then showing that they're, you know, that they didn't have any out of pocket costs because the prime DVH worked. And that's a good strategy as well. And might be some good publicity for your dentist um, it, that you go to, to choose. So those are going to be the three sales ideas. Um, you know, selling dental insurance, I always joke, it's not that hard. And as long as you learn the main talking points of the plan and just ask if they are currently going to the dentist, you're going to see some increase in sales. So um, with that, John, um, I'm going to turn it back over to you. You can see we got a wide coverage of the plan, but you know, my last final comment is, you know, now is the time to learn these products. Don't wait until September because you're going to get bogged down with, you know, the other plans you're selling. Learn these plans now, start practice talking to your client, your existing clients. You can go back to your existing clients and sell these. Um, so don't wait. The summer, things are a little bit slower, but they're going to get hectic here in August and September and definitely in October. So learn these products now, get comfortable with them so that when AEP comes, you, you can hit the ground running. So with that, John, I'll turn it back over to you. Awesome. Thank you, Seth. I've got a question that popped up in the uh, software as well, and it asks for additional training on using the agent portal and the quoting tool. Mm -hmm. And that's actually something we've got slated for a number of different topics in, in general terms. And I'm certain that uh, Seth and I can work on uh, accommodating that request for you as well. Um, one of the things that I'd ask uh, Seth is uh, completing the contracting process and the way that Surebridge does that electronically and the steps they have to take. Could you briefly describe that for us? Yeah, you, you broke up there for a second, but um, I, I will. I, th I think what you said is uh, cover the contracting process. Um, basically, the way the contracting process works is reach out um, to, to Premier and get your contract. Um, the reason is, is Premier can offer you some of the highest commissions um, out in the marketplace. And so reach out to Premier. They'll send you a contracting invite. When you get that contracting invite, you'll fill it out online and um, you know, and then once it's submitted, you're just going to have to wait. Um, I always tell people to expect two weeks. Um, the reason for that is we do order background checks and sometimes it does take a little bit of time to get that background check um, back, especially now with a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, uh, courthouses done, done. But as soon as you're approved, you're going to receive three emails. Okay. You're going to receive a email with your agent code. 
you're going to receive and and instructions to log into our agent portal um, you'll also receive an email with the password to log in so we used to send that in one but compliance makes us send two now so again you'll receive an email with your agent code and instructions to log in to the agent portal followed by an email with the password and then three you're going to receive a docusign email and it's important to keep an eye out on that DocuSign email because you need to activate, activate your DocuSign account. We use uh, DocuSign to sign the application. And so if you don't activate your DocuSign account, you can get all the way down to the signature part of an application and receive an error and you'll have to start all over. So make sure you activate the DocuSign account. Also, when you receive your login information, go out, log into the portal. The reason is you do have to complete some initial onboarding training um, in order to get started uh, with, with Sherbridge. So just go out there. There are quite a few slides and there is a short quiz at the end, but the quiz is really simple. I'm telling you, it's nothing like a hip. Just go out there, take 10, 20 minutes, click through the slides, take the 10 question quiz. It's really basic, really easy. Um, and then move on. Um, so those are the things that you have to do, um, kind of that might be a little bit outside of the norm of what you're used to um, with onboarding with the company. Awesome. And so we'll work to accommodate uh, a piece that can make that very clear to people on how they can complete that process. And also then um, with the quoting engine and the agent portal, because we've got some folks that are having some challenges with the, the quote engine. And we'll make certain that we address that. Um, I also want to make certain that we cover all the questions that have popped up so far. And I think, Vicki, that we've addressed that, but we'll go into greater detail with you. Uh, what we'll finish up with in just a couple of minutes here is some of the reasons why you would want to offer this program with Surebridge through Premier. And let's talk about some of those specifics one of the things that we do is we give you an opportunity to use a, a software package that allows you to create an agent profile. It stores all your information about your E&O and the questions that are commonly asked on contracts as well. And for many carriers, it gives you an opportunity to then autofill the different uh, contracts that you're looking for. Sometimes with certain carriers, we want to make certain that we process things as quickly as possible. Right now, there's a huge backlog with a number of carriers, so we will want to make certain that we use the most appropriate system. And with Surebridge, we want to make certain that we're using their electronic enrollments to make this work. So that's a big part of what we want to do there. We also offer discounted errors and admissions coverage to make certain that you are protected financially. This is a program that covers you regardless of whom you contract through with your different programs and includes coverage for some mutual funds and variable products, which is really hard to find e &O coverage with anyway, but this is a program you own. So it's not like joining a blanket e &O policy for just certain carriers. This is a program that will cover you regardless of whom you contract through. So it's very helpful for you and is very affordable as well. We also offer bundled and individual programs for continuing education credits through our association with WebCE in order to keep your license where it needs to be. And you have an opportunity to add to your own benefit package too through a modified guarantee issue program for, your, uh, for disability income. It uh, allows you to purchase a program at discounted rates and share in the commission. So kind of double dipping there and covering your ability to earn. Much as where today's presentation is recorded, we have a library of past presentations that speak to not only product, but different marketing techniques. One of the things that is very popular now or gaining popularity, popularity is marketing through dentists and that our programs that we talk to about insurance professionals working with providers can help you in that area as well. And that is a program that you can use either face-to-face -face when appropriate or available, but we can also do it telephonically as well. And it's part of the new reality that we see, but these are available to you 24 seven on either our website or our YouTube channel. We do also offer different quoting tools um, to handle some things electronically. Like I said, it's a new age. This program through a contract with CSG gives you a, a number of different programs that are available. 
Um, it gives you a way of utilizing the scope of appointment as a, a catch-all for the program since it is a health program for both hospital indemnity and dental, and you can present the same day as you would an MA program or a PDP program. With the programs listed here, the only one that you couldn't do the same day is the final expense. It's not considered a health program. That's a 48-hour uh, cooling off period. But both the hospital and indemnity program and the dental option here does include SureBridge. So it's another way for you to cross-sell based off of some of your other activity. We also have programs put together through our Medicare Center program that does help with MA and PDP programs and can actually off function as a modified CRM. Many of the carriers will offer different incentives for some of the products. We have a special place on our website that puts them all together so you have a, a single source for those information, for that information to make certain that you're compensated at the level you deserve as well. And many of those will help you with qualifying for Premier's prevention, uh, producer convention, which this past year was to be from Miami to the Bahamas. And we know what happened with some of that. So anyway, watch for that in the future. We do offer you some assistance as well with lead programs. A contact list is available to you. You can cold call on certain products. And obviously dental is a good program to utilize that. If you've got a good relationship with Ma Bell and you like to approach things that way, it's a great way for you to do things now. And particularly, as Seth mentioned, since some of the product for uh, product pricing for DVH will change at 66, it's a great way to incorporate each programs into a T65 campaign that makes you a little bit different than the other people that are calling for the basic health coverage. You're going through with a demand product that isn't as heavily marketed and helps you be very effective. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that we do is work with providers in marketing and dentists are part of that as well. So you'll see in the grassroots or community-based programs, not only the retail programs through like Walmart or the different carriers, but centers of influence, like the providers of the services that we offer through our insurance programs and also faith-based opportunities. And you can do that virtually and very effectively. Um, there are other lead programs that are available as well. Some of the MA carriers will kick out uh, prospects generated by that organ pardon me, by that organization. Sometimes I refer to those as Lazarus leads because they expect you to resurrect some things that uh, push through some of the captives first, but that's there. We do also offer internet leads through a Facebook program, a Facebook lead program, and we still offer direct mail support based on production. It can drive down the cost of your mail campaigns a great degree as well. All that said and done, we go through all this because we want your business. We want to work with you and offer you the opportunity to work with us as well. It gives you then a way of determining the importance of some of these programs to your personal marketing program and then engage in the marketing of those programs. SureBridge's dental programs, the DVH program particularly, and their hospital indemnity programs are natural adjunct sales to the Medicare arena. Uh, in certain cases, it may be more appropriate for Medicare Advantage plans or not because MedSups don't offer dental coverage either. And when you go into the hospital, it's always interesting to note the expenses that pop up that may be non-medical, and this could be a good add-on for Medicare supplements as well. All that said and done, you can reach any of us here at Premier through our toll-free number at 1-800-365-8208 or through our website at premiersmi.com. We appreciate the fact that your most valuable commodity is your time. You've invested an hour with us today. We wanna make certain that that brings you the proper return on your investment and watched and therefore for the follow-up to today's presentation and a visit with your agent success manager to make certain that this is going to be part of your offering moving forward. All that said and done, we look forward to that discussion, and we look forward in the meantime for additional information to come to you. We thank you for your suggestions today, 
And in the meantime, we wish you good selling. Thanks so very much, and we'll talk to you very soon.